What's up guys, Kevin here. And of course my dog, gotta get my dog in there for views. But you're looking at the Sony X90J, the best TV of the year I crowned. And I'll, I'll keep with that for a bit here, but it has definitely hit strike one and maybe strike two for me. This TV might be going back because I just had the audio issue again. As you can hear right now, it's good. But I had the audio issue where just didn't get any sound. However, this time it was just limited to the PlayStation 5 or HDMI port 3. No sound at all. Restarted the PS5 a couple different times, couldn't get the sound. Um, but when I switched over to the Series X, the HDMI 4 had sound. When I switched to my Switch had sound. YouTube on the TV had sound. My dog is slurping water, that's making some sound. So, I don't know, it might have been a PlayStation issue, but this solution worked. I saw this on YouTube. Um, basically what you want to do, see the controller here. I know this is a 900E controller, which is forward compatible to work with the X90J. Unfortunately, the X90J doesn't work on my 900E, at least that controller, but this one does. So. What you want to do is press and hold the power button for about five seconds. I did not know this. All you got to do is hit restart. And that fixed it. That fixed the audio issue for me. And I got sound again on my Sony X90J. But I'm very disappointed. So this has been an issue with Sony TVs at least the last couple years now. Um... Yeah, it's, you know, every TV has issues. You know, it's a very, you know, five second hold on the power button. Now I got to sit through this menu again. But I should be able to go back to PlayStation 5. And there you have it. I got sound. Woohoo! Well, I had sound, but I just wanted to share that just in case anyone was having any issues. Maybe you're past your return pol uh, period or policy, whatever, and you're stuck with the TV. I'm going to be honest with you. If this happens again, it's going back. It's going back, and I'm probably going to get the 65-inch LG C1. I really don't want to do that. Um, I need a 65-inch TV. I really do. I can't go back down to 55-inch. 55 inches nice. And I think I've even said in the past, like, well, just scoot it up forward and then it'll become a bigger TV. You do it that way, but nah. Something about a 65 inch TV just feels, feels bare minimum. Bare minimum for me. Um, there you have it. Don't want to ramble anymore. Other than that, I really do love this TV. I really do. I really enjoy the picture. I haven't messed with the settings yet. I haven't had time to, but. I've really enjoyed gaming on it. It's just that audio issue is a, that's just a huge turnoff for me. You spend, you know, even after $1,399, so $1,500, you spend that much money and TVs have been around forever? Yeah, this shit's gotta be locked down. This shit's gotta work. I'm not gonna wait for a patch. It's unacceptable, man. It's just really unacceptable. Just, you know, hey, if there's something in these TVs that is just too advanced that they just can't figure out. I just feel like as time goes on, they're just jam-packing these TVs with a bunch of features that these uh, <laughs> people at Sony and all these manufacturers just can't really, can't really grasp. They don't really understand what they're doing. They're just throwing it in there and everything's a computer. So, well, we can just update it later. If it's such a huge issue, then we'll get on it right away. I don't like that. Like, this audio issue should have been taken care of. The fact that I looked it up and it's just a known issue with Sony TVs. Like, figure your shit out. Figure your shit out, man. I am a Sony pony when it comes to TVs. That shit will be gone so quick. If this audio issue happens again, then 
I don't know what to do. LG C1. Maybe I'll go get the Samsung QN90. That's too expensive, man. Definitely not going back to Hisense. I'll just go back to my 900E and just... <laughs> just sitting right there, man. Like, hey, man, that's perfectly good TV right here, bro. Back when TVs were good. But no, I really like this TV. It's just... I feel like it's going to happen. And my next TV video is going to be me saying, hey, I got that LG C1 65 inch. Which I'm kind of excited for. I'm kind of excited if that happens. Except, you know, it's going to cost me, what, an extra 700 bucks? No, it cost me like almost an extra grand. Which sounds stupid, man. I don't care how much money you make. It's so much money. It's so much money. I want to interview people that buy these like OLED TVs and just kind of really nail down their finances. I mean, I got the money for it, but man, like if I spend that much on a TV, it needs to last me like 10 years. Maybe they're just not that forward thinking because I know in like 10 years, we're going to be what, on the 8K, 16K. It's going to be all these types of advancements that I'm going to want one of those TVs. <laughs> Just like how I'm gone from a 900E from like 40 years ago to now this. But all right, I'm just rambling now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully if I do another TV video, it'll be on this one. But I pretty much said what I needed to say about it. Still love it. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to sit here and try to sell a TV. I don't sell TVs, but if I'm excited about a product, I want to tell you about my excitement. But I'm not going to sit here and run into issues and pretend it never happened. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Later.